Welcome back to On Chat Corporate Training. Today we're continuing on with Microsoft's Outlook and I'm going to be showing you guys how to flag your messages. This is a super useful tool when you see an important message that you need to come back to or you know it's just a message that you're going to want to reference later on in the future. It just continues on with helping you organize your email and remember where things are. So let's get right into it. So when we take a look at our screen here, I have all of my emails and I'm just going to expand this by pulling it to the side and now I see all these options pop up and on the right side I see all these flags so if you want to flag an email all you have to do is click on the email and click the flag it'll now appear in underneath the flag bar if you want to flag an email for let's say next week for example I have an email that says coffee next week I'm going to click that email and then if you right click the flag a whole drop down menu will come and you can mark when it's relevant you can add a reminder so I'm going to flag it for next week and then the let's say the one below it I now figure that out I'm done having it flagged like it's not something I want to be flagged forever so I can just right click that and mark as complete and now you have a nice little check mark and once again it's going to show you the flag status so lastly some people like to flag emails and always refer back to them it could be like important birthdays or just information that you're going to need to continuously refer to so as your inbox gets more and more full it's hard to scroll through everything so you can just go to search current mailbox and when you do that you'll notice that this whole top menu changes and there's an option to just click flagged when you click that it'll search for all your flags e email and there it is let's get coffee next week that email pops up and so will all the other flagged emails in your inbox so that's pretty much it for flagging your email super helpful tool it's an important tool and it's quite simple to use so thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one